This video is brought to you by Keeps. Stick around to hear more about the discount that they are giving to the upper echelon community. Epic is being really dumb right now, and this video is going to be a bit different than the typical format, I guess, because I just really want to rail against their hypocrisy. Epic Games never had a spot in my heart. I never liked them, but as is the case with a lot of gamers, I tolerated them because there were certain deals or games I could only get through their store, through their particular storefront, that they poached everything to away from Steam, their inferior, badly functioning store. More recently, as they poked the bear that is Apple and Google, but Apple's the one nuking them from orbit, so it seems, I sort of wanted to sit back and just watch because what does it really matter? Big, greedy company gets mad because bigger, greedy company is hurting their ability to be greedy by being greedy themselves. Why does anyone but them care about all this? But things have changed. Epic has now filed multiple lawsuits, and they are getting, in my opinion, worse and worse. Now, I'm not a lawyer, blah blah, you get the point. I don't actually know what I'm talking about on this, but you know who does know? Hoag Law, and I'll link to his channel down below. It's an excellent channel, by the way. His series, Virtual Legality, is, is pretty phenomenal. Hoag Law has done a bunch of videos on pretty much every aspect of this case, and certain specifics seem to be plausibly winnable for Epic, I guess, but by and large, as a corporate lawyer, it seems that the sentiment he holds regarding this case is akin to my own, which is to say Epic is being unbelievably stupid right now and making hypocritical or flat-out disingenuous arguments. Before really diving in, I need to discuss a specific term and subsequently the video sponsor. Malding is a combination of the words mad and balding. I myself have been frequently known to mauled while playing certain video games. Keeps can't really help you with the mad part, it won't make you good at games either, but it can help you with the balding part by preventing hair loss. The only thing worse than playing a game and losing is playing a game and losing and having less hair because you failed. Two out of three men experience hair loss by age 35, and probably nine out of ten gamers who frequently lose do as well, but now you can get keeps delivered right to your home without even needing to go see a doctor or even go outside. Some men even see hair growth while on keeps, effectively reversing the years upon years of constant molding. And the best thing is, you can visit keeps.com slash UEG or click the link down below in the description for 50% off your first purchase. Over 100,000 men already trust Keeps, and you can be one of them. So when you lose, you don't have to lose your hair too. Again, go to Keeps.com slash UEG or click the link down below to get 50% off your first purchase. But back on topic, Epic Games and Tim Sweeney should probably start using Keeps. But more importantly, Epic should stop being hypocritical. I've already discussed the fundamentals of their initial lawsuit against Apple and Google, so I won't rehash all of those points, but the basic rundown for those that have been living under a rock who somehow don't already know this, is that Epic Games put a second payment option into their Fortnite application on purpose to get banned. And then they hit Apple and Google with a massive 60 page lawsuit from one of the best law firms in the country, alleging that the companies have a monopoly and basically calling for the government to help them break into the app store space. At the same time, they released a propaganda video, because that's honestly what it really is, which painted Apple as evil and called on their fans to mobilize on social media and put consumer pressure on their legal adversaries. That was the opening move, but then they got stomped on. Apple not only banned the application, but is now revoking their developer access, and also taking measures against all Epic Games software, which could mean the removal of developer tools for the Unreal Engine, which has massive repercussions for not only Epic, but a large number of other developers. To stop this, Epic filed another lawsuit to prevent Apple from taking any action whatsoever, which is, if we really think about this, a cry for the government to force Apple to support Epic, even when Epic spits in their face, willfully violates the terms of service, sues them them with an overtly obvious intention to disrupt their business model, and whips their fan base into a frenzy on social media to harass their competition. But that's not even the best parts. I won't read the specific paragraphs like I normally do because there's so many segments and it would just be way too long and boring, but I'll link both of the lawsuit documents down below in the description for those that want to read. The best stuff comes when you consider what Epic is actually arguing here. They spend a great deal of time in their initial lawsuit making the case that Apple charges too much and that no payment processor should be extracting more than 3% from transactions. But then they turn around and advertise that they would save the customers 20% value. Okay, so if Epic believes it is immoral and obscene to harvest more than 3% and they're doing all of this for the benefit of the consumer, where's the extra 7% going? Making all this worse is that they legitimately snuck the code into the Fortnite app. It's a convoluted explanation, but the simplified version is that they updated the app a while ago to ping the Epic servers and ask how many payment methods should we offer. Except for the time being, when they did the update, immediately afterwards, they would tell the app remotely to only offer one. 
When their lawsuit was ready and their propaganda video on top of that, all they did was change what their own servers would say. And now when the app pinged it to ask, the response would be offer two payment options. They legitimately snuck the code in, disguised it so that it was not functioning fully at the time, and then when their lawsuit blitz was ready, they turned it on, which is a whole new set of violations that Apple is completely within their right to take action against. But now's the real best part. The entire lawsuit is against a monopolistic adversary alleging an anti-competitive approach, when Epic itself only managed to break into the PC game store market by snatching games out from under its competition. Games that were literally a week away from release in some circumstances, and previously promised to the audience on Steam, they were given money so that they would not exist on multiple platforms, thereby actually eliminating the concept of competition because players could either go use their horribly functioning storefront that was inferior in almost every conceivable way at the time, or wait a year, possibly more, before they can even play, if they can even play at all, ever, on a different platform like GOG or Steam. Epic adopted the force the customers to use us because we are the only option for certain game titles tactic, and now they have the nerve to say that Apple and Google utilize anti-competitive tactics. Here's a great thread from Epic CEO Tim Sweeney, and by great I mean lol, just wait for it. Let's try searching for Netflix on the App Store. Whoops, Netflix isn't the top result because Apple sold the top result to TikTok. At least all the text is super readable, except the low contrast white on blue ad label. Okay, we scroll down and install Netflix. Now let's sign up. Whoops, you can't sign up in app and Apple won't even allow Netflix to tell users how to sign up out of app. Back to TikTok. Let's try searching for that. Whoops, Apple punked TikTok with, and it's a picture of some ad for an app called Tags AI, I guess. The App Store doesn't store Fortnite. Google Play doesn't play Fortnite. This is the broken state of mobile platforms in 2020. Now, Tim Sweeney took a massive L when Hoag Law chimed in and said, so just to be clear, it's bad when a company buys up ad space using competitor search keywords, clearly showing that you can search Unity Engine on Google and the Unreal Engine pops up as the first result via an advertisement because of ad space and ad targeting. The Unreal Engine being an Epic Games property, keep that in mind. Basically, his own company does the exact same thing actively that he is complaining about. Apply the same logic that Epic Games seems to be using right now to any other scenario in existence and it becomes totally absurd. Imagine if you sell your fruit at a supermarket with like a 30% flat fee, but one day you sneak in a bunch of strawberry boxes that have a big sign on them that tell customers to leave the supermarket and buy from your own private stand right outside. The supermarket is like, okay, don't do that, please, and removes your strawberry shelf until you stop doing it. Then you sue them, scorched earth, to break up their entire store. After that, they say, okay, well, we're going to ban all of your fruit then because you snuck these boxes in, you are now trying to mess with the whole store, and you have this giant lawsuit against us. And then, with absolutely unimpeachably perfect logic, you say, well, okay, now I want to open another lawsuit against them to force you to keep all of my fruit there. So I can sell my fruit in your store, tell your customers to leave your store and go to my store, and you don't even get your cut of the profit because I want the government to force you to promote my stuff and also let me sell my stuff cheaper on your platform while hurting your business. It's, oh my gosh, man. No, Epic, just no. This is ignoring the fact that 40% of Epic is owned by Tencent, a technology arm of the Chinese Communist Party. And that by itself doesn't necessarily mean anything. I discussed this in my previous video mostly. Ownership does not equal control, especially partial ownership and not a full majority especially. But in the atmosphere of current American politics and trade policy, having a largely invested sub-company under Tencent making demands that they be allowed to use a privately owned platform however they want, and the government should force that private company to work with them and charge them less and not respond when Epic undermines their business and attacks them personally, uh, yeah, that's not a good look. Steam basically ignored Epic during their competition phase. They did all their exclusive deals, Epic did, and poached players and whatever else was going on behind the scenes, but publicly Valve basically didn't even flinch. Apple is not the same. 
Epic releases a propaganda video to weaponize their fans after sneaking in code that is against Apple's terms. Then, when Apple responds in a perfectly cordial and normal way, you can read the documents for yourself, they're linked down below, considering what's in the agreement, right? They respond totally normally. Epic goes scorched earth and tries to fundamentally disrupt and harm one of Apple's most important sectors. Apple then says, fine, you clearly are trying to be our enemy. We will just remove your stuff then, whatever. And Epic comes at them again. And I keep saying this, I just, I really do. I reiterate over and over because I'm honestly dumbfounded right now. They open another lawsuit to ask the government to force Apple to keep working with them and promoting them and dispersing their products while they actively try to damage Apple's business. They want something and they don't want to pay for it. And now they're throwing the world's greatest tantrum ever. I don't see how Epic comes out of this looking like anything other than absolute garbage. Woe is me, they take 30% and no one should ever take more than 3%, but I'm about to take 10 though and pocket the other 7. Oh no, they are anti-competitive and too big. We have to fight them for our players. Help us, Fortnite kitties, attack Apple. Just kidding, we're going to buy up exclusives and prevent them from being on any of our competitors' platforms. Huh? Apple is so big and mean. LOL, let's sneak stuff in that breaks our contract and then blindside them with a huge lawsuit. But do we see how bad they are? The advertising is above the actual search term. Hey, let's literally do that too on our side. Huh. I could rant on this for hours and it's not really the typical analytical type of content, but I'm just, I'm really overwhelmed by this. I think Epic is absolute garbage. So is Apple. Fair, yes, Apple is also bad, but Epic is just so much worse. But that's it. If you want to support, there's links down below. I'll cut it there and stop rambling. As always, thank you all for watching and have a nice night.